Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. And today I am going to talk about how to get a new service now account or a new personal development instance. So we call it as DDI. So let's get started. Now we need to open any browser and enter the URL developer.servicenow.com. To copy the link. please check the description enter url developer.servicenow.com once it is loaded click on sign up to create a new service now account this is how the service now registration form looks here we need to enter first name last name email password and enter your password again enter the captcha once you enter all the details then you need to select the terms and condition and then click on sign up open developer.servicenow.com let's do a practical section how to create a new service now account so click on sign up and start billing so this is the service now registration form so enter all the details enter your first name I am last name blog email I am snow blog red gmail dot com password can give you Enter the text. We accept the terms. Then that's it. Sign up. Once we sign up, and you need to go to your email, activate your account. Let's see how the email looks and how do we activate from the email. So oh, this is the email I I received in my Gmail account. So let's open it. So hello name blog. So you just need to click verify email. That's it. So once we click verify email, then. Uh, it will automatically redirect to single sign-on page. So that's it. Your account is now active. Uh, please click below to sign in. So once it is activated, you can sign. In. Let's go back to developer.servicenow.com and try to sign in from here. Let's see how it works. A email address which you gave while registering the your user account. Gmail. What? Honest. Password. Fine. So that's it. Uh, 
the URL account is get activated and you can sign in to the developer.arvestron.com. So once you sign in, so it asks, if you are a first, first time you are trying to log in, then it will ask you uh, some set of questions like, uh, do you code or no? Yes, of course, I code. Next. So what best describes your job response? This is an option that you are a developer or you are idea team. So anything you can do it. So let's select everything like I am a developer, I am a designer, I'm idea team, and so on. So, uh, so, so let's uncheck this one. And then accept the terms, finish the term. That's it. That's it. Once you uh, set up everything, then uh, you can start building. So your instance is getting ready. You can see here that setting up instance. And let's wait till uh, your instance is ready. So now your instance is ready and you can open your instance directly from here. Open instance. So this is the this is your demo instance or a personal instance or we call it PDI, personal development instance. So you can use this instance for anything. Like you can develop, you can create, or you can play. Uh, you can play anything uh, in this instance. So this is your service now, new service now, personal development instance. Once your instance is ready, you can directly use your URL and you can use your username and password. So you can use directly the URL or you can log in from the developer.servicenow.com and open the instance from uh, developer.servicenow.com. So return to the developer site. So uh, this is your developer site. In the top right hand side, you can see your profile details and a down arrow. Here you can see the instance details, my instance. Under my instance, you can see the instance status. It is online or offline. Next one is leave. Which version of service now you have currently installed? The role user role which role you have and start build by clicking on this it will redirect to your personal development instance this is the url for your personal development instance and, and it's different for all users now go back to developer site so here, this is about instant action. On all these options, we will be learning in upcoming videos. Activity of your instance. Instance with no activity for over 10 days will be climbed back into the pool. That means if you are not logging into the instance or if you are not doing anything into your instance, for 10 days, your instance will be climbed back. If your instance is climbed back, then you have to request for new instance again by logging to developer.service.com. My account information. So, uh, and this is my profile by clicking on view profile. By clicking on view profile, you can see all, all information about your profile. This is your service now profile, like personal information. You can change the information, you can change the password, or you can change the role and responsibility. And once you change, then you can save the changes. Click on sign on. That's it. So when you want to sign in, again, same way. Questions from today's section. 
first question from which side we need to create pdi second question after how many days stamps will be climbed back if there is no activity please comment your answers please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time